here's the uh, reverse strike. Um, I don't know how bright it is in here. It's not too bright. Um, it's made out of one inch box tubing or box steel, whatever you'd like to call it. It's got a uh, what the hell inch of these wheels? I forgot. Let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah, thirteen. Uh, they're, ter they're thirteen inch by five inch wheels uh, in the front, both of them. Um, I fell in with a fish eye because this thing really doesn't catch too much, so that's why I'm using it. Um, I had to extend the steering column actually, because it was originally just a half inch piece of steel that went all the way up to the steering wheel. So I had to add in about 12 inches. And it works really good now. Not gonna with everything. Um, then, we actually got some sweet suspension on here. I just kicked that. I mean, here. Let's see. Up to the top, yeah. It's got a lot of travel. Um, this is not a permanent engine by far. This is kind of rigged. It's actually a pretty powerful little engine. It's only a four horse Honda, but it's freaking it's a pretty powerful engine. Had to make the header for it because um, part of the exhaust kind of cracked, so we had to re-weld. <laughs> we had to weld our own manifolds and everything, and it was actually kind of screwed up. I also had to um, <clears throat> take a tap and Retap these uh, exhaust port bolts so that they refit. Um, I think these are these are 11 inch shocks. We turn them all the way up to their highest setting. I don't know how you, well you can tell. In the back we got a 21, sorry, a 20 inch by 6 inch tire. And uh, knobby as hell. And it rolls really smooth. It's beautiful. It's got a uh, 5 8 axle. I mean, uh, like it's, uh, it's just stainless steel with a zinc coating on it. The spacers that I used, because these that's actually not part of the axle that I'm holding right there. It's actually part of an old desk that I found that I broke at school, so I kind of took it home to not get in trouble. It turns out the inner diameter of it was 5 eighths and it fit this thing perfectly, so I got them the size and fits really good. It's held on by two big damn cotter pins, and I just got this little cover on the end so it doesn't uh, mangle up the end of it so I can't get anything off. Don't have one over here, but you understand. Same thing. Um, big six inch brake cup. And then the drivetrain on this thing is really cool. The way we set it up. Let's see if I can get a better light. Um, damn, hold on. Hold on. Um, yeah, you can't really tell what too much. But uh, you can vaguely see it. So that's the clutch right there. And since the, it would have hit this cross member right here that holds on the engine plates. So what we did was I took an old skateboard wheel and I kind of took a chisel and I cut a notch into it. And then I just shoved a bolt through there and I uh, put it on this little piece of box tubing. It's about four inches tall. and Or sorry, three inches, something like that. And we made our own uh, chain tensioner. And it works freaking, it works great. You got no idea how well this thing works. Um, we've revved the thing all the way up and it stays on. So, uh, yeah, that's about it for the go-kart. And Oh, yeah, by the way, the chair. It's an old wicker chair my mom broke. Well, she didn't break because she's not fat, but <laughs> don't think about that. She broke it because it kind of fell off the deck in a hurricane that we had. It kind of broke off all the legs. So, um, my little brother said we should use it, and so, um, threw it on here. It worked really great. We just took a cushion so it was a little bit better. And, um, that's the chair. Got this half cut steering wheel from our old go kart. Um, we cut it all using just this chop saw with a 10 inch carbide blade on it. Uh, welded it together with that little MIG welder right there made by Lincoln. I think it's only 135 amps, so it's not too strong. Um, let's see, I might even say it. Uh, hmm, it doesn't say it on here, but it's just a little MIG welder. There's no gas or anything. It's just got the uh, 
it's got the coated wire so it doesn't so it makes the own gas I guess um yeah that's it for the uh, the trike build so far we don't have uh, the throttle hookups and the gas and the brake hooks up hookups yet because we literally just finished putting on the steering tonight so I'll get back to you with more updates thanks bye subscribe